You can develop a sensitivity to any food that you eat if you eat it on a, over and over and over and over again. But the sensitivities can be of different degrees. You could have a lack of specific enzymes okay, that help to, let's say, an enzyme that helps you digest gluten. You could have a, a lack of that enzyme, uh, and that could be why you're sensitive. Okay? Same thing, you could lack the, uh, you know, the enzyme that helps you to digest lactose, and so you're lactose intolerant. But you can also develop sensitivities because of chronic inflammation in the digestive tract, so that no matter what you eat, the immune system is irritated, it's sensitive, it's hyper responsive, so that it essentially is going to go after any food that you eat on a chronic, ongoing, or a daily basis. So even though those foods like rice and you know, corn can be used as alternatives to gluten or soy, if you have a very highly sensitive child, they may develop sensitivities to that. That's why you have to do trials of things. You sometimes have to start with some of the basics, and then you learn over time what your child may be sensitive to. It's not the same thing for every kid, okay? And so there's not a cookie cutter way of doing it. But you have to start somewhere.